This is the Acura NSX. It might be the most perfect Micah-specific car ever created. First, apologies. I don't normally talk about myself in the third person, but as a former S2000 and Honda Del Sol VTEC owner, I always appreciated quick cars from the Church of H. Naturally, there are more elite Acura siblings like the Integra Type R, which magically appeared during our shoot, and the original NSX loomed large as the pinnacles of automotive excellence. It's no surprise then that the reborn NSX would hold appeal to me, and if you're like me, you too. As a quick refresher, the NSX is Acura's rendition of a supercar. It's got a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6, supplemented by an electric motor that drives the rear wheels through a 9-speed dual-clutch transmission. Up front, there are two electric motors, one for the left wheel and one for the right. Their power imparts the NSX with a total system output of 573 horsepower and what Acura calls super-handling all-wheel drive. I'll be the judge of what's super-handling. Yeah, it's pretty super. Differential torque from the front motors contributes to the NSX's precise tracking through corners. An electrified powertrain also means engine off hybrid creep abilities if you care about that sort of thing, and instantaneous torque rich acceleration when the need arises. And the need always arises. If you want to make a scene, the NSX can run from motionless to 60 miles per hour in a swift 2.9 seconds, according to Acura. Top speed is 191 miles per hour, not that it matters. The NSX's fundamentals haven't changed since it launched in 2016, but updates for the 2019 model year have helped dial in the package. In addition to tuning improvements for the car's adaptive dampers, power steering, and all-wheel drive system, the NSX sports grippier Continental tires and stiffer stabilizer bars. Acura says the new package is two seconds faster around the Suzuka circuit. Is that a meaningful metric for a dude just stuck driving his NSX on the streets? Meh. All you need to know is that the NSX delivers proper supercar speed. Here, I'll show you. <sighs> Other updates include gloss exterior trim, newly standard front and rear parking sensors, and orange calipers for the $10,600 carbon ceramic brake option, which incidentally drops 51.8 pounds of rotational mass from the NSX's 3,878 pound curb weight. Oh, and this sweet Microspec thermal orange paint. That's new. Granted, I'm a sucker for an orange car, but I really think the orange paint and optional carbon fiber bits make the NSX's aesthetic charms shine. Quite literally. Are you wondering about all that carbon fiber? Well, the carbon fiber exterior package with engine cover is a cool $12,600. Add $3,000 for the carbon fiber spoiler and another $6,000 for a carbon fiber roof that saves a whole 1.7 pounds versus the standard roof. Clearly money well spent. An additional $3,800 adds even more carbon fiber and an Alcantara headliner to the interior. By contrast, the $700 thermal orange paint option seems like a bargain. With all the options and destination charges, our car's MSRP lands at $196,500 live simply, and you can buy a basic NSX for $159,300. Calling a $159,000 Acura NSX basic feels delusional, but in some ways it's true. Unlike most cars I drive these days, the NSX lacks driver assist technology like automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, and dynamic cruise control. It feels at odds with the advanced powertrain, but there is a welcome simplicity to driving the NSX. The controls are comparatively elemental. Beyond transmission buttons and this selector for engaging the clearly delineated drive modes, the only controls you need to manage are this, these, and those guys. Engaging with them is a pleasure. The steering feels stable and heavy on center, but small inputs alter trajectory with satisfying immediacy. Amazingly, the braking system's regenerative abilities do not harm brake feel. The pedal feels firm and initiates strong deceleration when the need arises. And the need always arises. Hi. That's because the NSX builds speed like, well, a 573 horsepower hybrid from hell. Pure thrust is one thing, but the way the thrust is delivered helps elevate this apex Acura's propulsive delights. Good job, Tim. <laughs>
the dual clutch performs rapid shifts with minimal G loss. And in manual mode, it will not upshift for you at red line, which I will demonstrate at the exit of this corner. Here we go. Yeah. That's good dual clutching. While motoring about in your NSX, you might also notice subtle but fun turbo noises, though a more intense engine song might be nice, and an absence of dual clutch transmission wonkiness at parking lot speeds thanks to the smooth, low speed pull of the NSX's electric motors. But no one's perfect. Here's a lightning round of truly trivial complaints. The door handle's forward placement means leverage for closing the door is weak. <sighs> There's no cup holder unless you use this temporary module that uh, slots in right here. Though I have noticed that a Fiji bottle fits perfectly in this nook. It's almost like it was made for it. Brand integration, people. The seven inch infotainment system is uninspiring and there's no volume knob. The dynamic mode selector is nicely textured, but it's made out of plastic. It should be metal. I saw the same transmission selection setup in the last Honda Pilot I drove. The glove compartment door is weirdly thick. There's a lot of unused space here, or who knows, maybe there's a secret compartment, I don't know, for, um, use your imagination. And the USB port's rear placement makes it awkward to plug in my phone. I told you these would be trivial complaints. A more substantive complaint would be visibility over my right shoulder. Yeah, it's a mid-engine car, so it's not surprising that it's hard to see, but the NSX doesn't have blind spot warning, which would sure take the pressure off when making lane changes. When not changing lanes, the view out is brilliant. Just like the first generation NSX, the nose dips down, filling your view with road, and as it rushes beneath you, it gives the driver a really visceral sense of speed. Doubly so when you're going fast. Beyond that, I absolutely adore how the NSX fits me. Headroom is outstanding, the armrests are well positioned, and the seat offers superb lumbar support and feels custom tailored for my body. Hey Acura, if you secretly snuck into my house and measured my torso to make these seats, I'm cool with that. I'll also mention that the steering wheel is ergonomic perfection. The thumb slots right here are smooth and very comfortable, and on the back side, it's contoured for for fingers to grip it. I don't know if I've ever driven a car that more effectively encourages the driver to adopt a proper nine and three posture than the Acura NSX. And that's reinforced by the fact that the steering ratio is super quick. You don't need to leave this position. I'm driving a race car. <laughs> Add to that a comparatively plush ride, manageable ingress and egress, and a genuinely usable trunk, and the Acura NSX functions as a legit daily driver. Ironically, that might be the biggest hurdle facing the NSX. It's too nice. Where exercise, medicine, and supercars are concerned, we think suffering and efficacy are entwined. A car this comfortable can't be properly thrilling, right? Actually, I think it can, but what do I know? I'm just the guy driving the NSX. Okay, given my unhealthy love of oversteer, I wish the NSX were more driftable, but for unflappable high-speed thrills, the NSX rocks. Among the prime competitive set, we find the stupendously capable Porsche 911 Turbo, my long beloved Audi R8 V10, and my previous orange love, the McLaren 570S, each of which has a higher starting price than the Acura NSX, though I'm not sure how much that matters to supercar buyers. If it's a zippy hybrid ye seek, the cheaper and slower BMW i8 checks the box. And I'll quickly toss the Lamborghini Huracan into the mix if you're looking for something that'll really get you noticed. To me, the Acura NSX is the supercar for people who don't buy supercars, for better or worse. It provides elite dynamic thrills, arresting looks, especially in orange, along with everyday comfort and the promise of superior reliability. It's even fairly efficient. You didn't think I'd mention that, did you? If I had the cash, I'd buy that car right now. It's almost like it was made for me.